I wanted to do a video basically on this situation that went with those people in the Golden Sphere. Um, I found one of the people's channel, Anna's or whatever. Um, I heard it from Bluish Gelato. Um, I found Bluish Gelato through Ariana, the one and only Ariana, and, um, I subscribed after I, um, was talking to Stephen Brown there. Um, I, I am subscribed to Stephen Brown. Um, I like his channel. I've been a subscriber of his channel since 2019. So, you know, I've been subscribed to him a while. Um, and anyway, um, I found Honest channel. She commented under my comment about mixed race um, people, basically. And I wanted to talk about the Golden Sphere. For one, you know, I feel like many of the time the people in that sector are not biracial. Many of them are black or they have a black parent and a mixed parent, which makes them black. Um, so, in those cases, many of the time, they have different things that they, like, for example, they identify as black, really, in reality. Their problem is dark-skinned black women, but they don't, um, they don't really, I don't think, identify away from dark-skinned black women. I think what happens is this, they find them to be competition more so than actually seeing themselves as another race. So, you know, with the whole conflict or whatever was going on between them on black men and not being able to hear criticism of black men, to me, is an aspect that kind of shows, really shows... <laughs> that um they identify as black you know if they didn't identify as black they wouldn't be black male identified no other race of woman is black male identified besides a black woman makes sense because they are black <laughs> so to me it's like it's obvious that you don't see yourself as different you see dark-skinned black men as your men the only thing that's going on here, and the reason they push the idea of being mixed, is the whole inter, the whole um, conversations, the interactions that they have with black men. Being completely honest, I've said this several times that black men will come up to you if you aren't dark skinned, and say, ask you, what are you mixed with? Or, what are you? For me, I usually get what are you more than what are you mixed with. But, I've seen them ask this of basically everyone. And the way the, inter the interchange is, is basically, they act like it's a compliment, the other person, and they feed into it, basically. So they might even come up with something far back in their heritage just to impress. And this is so sad because why should that impress anybody to not be black? Why are black people wanting to not be black? You know, that's so sad. And, you know, for me personally, I've never got into it. And I could feed into it. Everyone knows, like, for my family, um, they say a lot of different things about their different heritage and things that they have in their family i just don't feed into that i i think it's dumb and i think that it's just we shouldn't do that really you know especially not my mother's side of the family and they often would do that you know and it would be really weird and uncomfortable for me um so for me it's just like you know I would never feed into it, and some people find that to be, you know, flattering. I always found it as insulting, because you're acting like if you just say black, that that means, like, that's something bad. There's nothing wrong with being black. 
I mean, the more black you are, the more human you are, technically. And I'm not trying to be hateful towards anyone. That's just a fact. Like, literally, we have less um, Neanderthal blood. Um, But the point is, you know, um, I think what's sad about the situation is that these people want to, you know, claim they're not black just because they feel pressure from black men to not be black to get that type of appeal that they've gotten from black men. And, you know, I've heard other people complain about this among black women, specifically light, lighter skinned black women. I consider them lighter. One person, they consider themselves light skin. I would consider them light brown. But anyway, both of these women would claim that black men would do this often. And they would always reject it and say that they were um, black. You know, and that would, you know, make them upset, the black man upset. And, you know, to me, it's just like, you know... You hear people complaining about this, but nobody actually thinks, you know, okay, what does this cause? It causes people like the Golden Sphere to hate themselves, basically, and try to pretend they're something else they know they're not in order to get the attraction and attention of black men. This is what black men have put black women through to this point, which is so sad. You know, people always act like, for example, mixed women and light-skinned women have it easy. But the reality is, they are pushed the most not to be themselves. And, you know, it's not even allowed for them to have certain features. For example, like on Anna's channel, how she was talking about how black men would act like she was supposed to not have the hair texture she had. And I could say, often black men and black women would act like, you're not supposed to have this hair type, you know. Especially for me, personally, people always think my hair is supposed to be really soft. And I never understand that, like, but they always think that my hair is, like, going to be, like, curly or something, or wavy. It's not going to be, obviously, I'm black, but (laughs) it's weird. (laughs) But... I mean, you know, that's what I've noticed. Like, people always act like, you know, mixed people and light-skinned people can't have black features. Like, they can't have black features. And then, you know, there's some people, some light-skinned people, light-brown-skinned people, who will feed into that just to be accepted. But what is it doing to them? Really, one is making them look like a fool because they're going after their own. They're going after their own black women. And then on top of it, they are, you know, trying to avoid and ignore the fact that they see themselves as black, but try and say that they're mixed, but at the same time, try and act like black men are their men and protect black men. It's like, you know, you don't see yourself as really mixed. You don't really see yourself as different from black people. You see yourself as the same as black people, just in competition to dark-skinned black women. And, you know, there's one other thing I might... Yeah, I'll talk about it. I have time. Um, About with Honest Channel. um, In regards to her uh, content, to me, I'm like, you know, I feel like people who are... I wouldn't consider Anna biracial, like a biracial. To me, from my perspective, I'm the way I see it is this: you have to be below fifty percent to be biracial, maybe even less than that, honestly, because biracial people with white people are like between thirty-five and forty-five percent black. There are not many people that are 90% black, you know, that are black Americans. Most of them are in the 80s at the higher end. Um, So, at least consistently, I think. I think most people are 90%. I don't know. Um, Anyway, my point is, you know, 
with that whole situation, you know, I might not see her as a biracial, but I understand that her, who she, her parent was, is, um, is Hispanic, is Mexican, and Puerto Rican, she said, and if that's the case, then she has a parent that isn't black, isn't a part of the black sector, basically, and if she's got a parent that's not a part of that, then how does she really understand black families? How does she understand anything about black people? She understands it from an outsider sense. So to me, generally, I don't really feel too offended by her. I just kind of feel like, you know how I am. Like, if I don't see you within the uh, parameters, it's kind of different than when I see you outside of it because you're outside looking in. Um, so the experiences she's talked about, you know, it can, it's understandable why she might have the perspective she has of her whole situation. And I honestly feel sorry for her. Um, but the point is, and I don't mean that in a mean way, I'm just saying that. I, I had sympathy for her. Um, anyway, so to me, what irks me a little bit more is people who are black American, like they're not from another country, they don't have family from another country, and they pretend black people are all a certain way, or um, that all, like that they're light-skinned families and they're dark-skinned families, but they don't, they're not within the same families, like dark-skinned families are like of a lower class or something. These are weird things to me, because one, most black families have light and dark. Two, if you are around enough black people, you will see there are black people who people call different names, but understand that basically they are the people from different classes of the black race. There's high class, upper class, uh, middle class, and low class. Low class would be hood black people, but a lot of black people aren't those black people. And many people who are black know this. They might not be happy with that because they're probably one of those hood people who feel like those people are getting over on them or something like that. But the point is <clears throat> that, you know, these people are knowledgeable on the subject, but they pretend not to be and lie about the black community. That's what I don't like. Also, like I said, I don't like the uneven treatment of saying I'm okay with black men, but not black women. Because like I said, it shows your motive. It shows that you're not really not identifying as black. You identify as black, you just don't like black women because black women are who you are and you hate, that's, you hate that that's within you. And you want to show how much you're different from black women, even though no matter how, you, how much you try, no matter how much you try, you always be a black woman.